Welcome back to our session. So in today's session, we will see some more interview questions. So first one. So int x is equal to 5. If x less than 1, print hello. So if you observe here, we are having the semicolon after the conditional statement. So that means that execution ends in the particular statement and then followed by the next statement will be the sequential execution so first x is equal to 5 and next in the condition 5 less than 1 it is a false but here we are placing semicolon is there after the conditional statement so this statement ex completes its execution in this line itself so automatically this line will be executed next and it will print help so first we have to observe the semicolon for iterative statements and conditional statements. So hope you understood this one. Let us move on to the next question. Right. So let us see the second question. So a is equal to 1 and here we are using two increment and decrement operators in the conditional statements. So coming to this one. So here there are no curly braces after the conditional statement. So one thing this curly braces represents the block of statements right and if we want to combine uh, more than one statement as a block we can place this curly braces anywhere in the program not only in the uh, I mean, conditional statements or iterative statements anywhere in the program if you want to combine uh, two or more statements in a single block then we can use these curly braces if we want if that block consists of only a single statement then we can ignore this curly braces so here the same thing happened so if a minus minus here we are not using any curly braces so this if condition that means a true block consists of only one statement and this is a another block so generally we will think all these three will be in if block but that's completely wrong here we are not using any curly braces so only one statement belongs to the true block so this is the sequential execution right so first a is equal to 1 a minus minus so as this is a post decrement post decrement that means first the old value will be assigned to a and then the a value will be decremented so this will be a if 1 if 1 means true right 1 means true 0 means false so if 1 true so true block will be executed here this true block consists of only single statement only single statement so true will be printed here and after com completion of this, the next sequential execution if a plus plus, right? After completion of this, a will be decremented and it becomes zero. Now, if a plus plus, if a plus plus means it, it is also a post increment. So first the old value will be assigned to a, and then later a will be incremented. So here if zero, that means false, false. So here here also there is no curly braces only one statement in the this block right so if zero that means false so there is no false block so just it will print true as a result so the output of this program will be true and if you modify this code just instead of using the post increment if you use the pre increment then automatically First thing, as we know that pre-increment means first the value will be incremented and then the new value will be assigned to the variable. So pre-increment, so first 0 will be incremented to 1 and 1 will be assigned to A. So if 1, then false will also be executed here. If it is a pre-increment, if it is a post-increment, as usual only true will be printed. So hope you understood this type of question, right? So let us move on to the next one. See, let us move on to the third one. So here, again the example for switch. So here, instead of passing directly a parameter, we are passing some printf function to the as a parameter to the switch function. So we know that printf statement will return an integer. That means a number of characters or a number of parameters, right? So here, first thing, 
it will display the printf it will execute this printf right so that means first so here i will write the output so first this line will be executed that means do will be printed and what is the length of this characters that is 2 so it will return 2 here so switch of 2 because the the result of this statement will give an integer that is a length of the parameters like a string or a character or any variables so it returns 2 switch of 2 so the case label 2 is executed it matches and it will be executed so print of b so b will be printed and a break so it comes out from the loop so the, the output for this one is do b do b so hope you understood so the important thing is this statement will return an integer and first it will execute and it will return an integer to the switch statement that will match with the case level and corresponding block will be get executed that's a simple thing right so hope you understood this one so let us move on to the next one right so let us see the next one so here there are three conditional statements and we are writing only one statement in that particular block right so that means only true blocks there is no question of a false block only the true blocks so we know that zero will be considered as false and one will be considered as true similarly we can say it as non-zero so non-zero can be considered as true first one if zero that means false so false means we have to execute the false condition right false block so as you here we are not writing any false block so it will be skipped and coming to the second if if minus 10 so even though it is a negative integer right so whatever it may be either negative or a positive it is not a zero that means a non-zero that means it's true so the second that corresponding block will be executed true block will be executed here in this true block only one statement we have written that is second so the second will be printed second will be printed next there is no false block directly it moves to the next if condition so here we are giving an expression so 80 minus 10 into 8 so we know that if any expression is having more than one operator then we have to follow the operator precedence so in this operator precedence we know that multiplication is having the highest precedence than subtraction so first these two will be executed so 80 minus 80 so there is only one operator so 80 minus 80 it will be result 0 so that means the result of this one is 0 so again false so there is no false condition then it will be stopped execution so only the second is the output for this program so hope you understood so 0 means false and non 0 will be true either it may be a positive or a negative integer anything non zero means it's a true condition so true block will be executed right so hope you understood these sessions if you like my sessions like it share my sessions with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding c programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for listening thank you very much